Hey everyone, welcome to our 3rd of January 2025, so our first Azure update of the year. I hope you had an awesome new year and hope you have a really great 2025. Um, not many updates this week because people are still recovering from the holidays. I think it will all pick up next week, so just a couple of announcements. New videos this week. Uh, I've been totally lazy. I took the week off. I just hung out with the family. I was making uh, snow angels, went up for some side by siding up in the mountains, had a great time. So hopefully uh, you relaxed as well. So on to the actual updates. So if we focus on the Azure NetApp files, what they had is they've added the ability to have the same path now in GA for different volumes that are replicated between availability zones. So I have a volume and availability zone and I'm replicating it to another availability zone. So with this enhancement, what I can now do is I can have the same volume mount path for those replicas. So what that would mean is for my high availability, it becomes very, very simple. If the volume fails over, well, since the path remains the same, no changes required to my application. So it just makes it very, very seamless for what I'm trying to do. And then miscellaneous. So for the China Sovereign Cloud, so the code name Mooncake, it now supports the 140-2 level three hardware security modules, HSMs. So that gives you the highest level of security, follows the most robust protection for your cryptographic keys. It's required for certain compliance uh, regulations. And uh, that was it. So a super quick update, just two changes over the last week. Um, hope that's useful. Hopefully we get back to regular updates next week. But until the next video, take care.